Hello everybody, this is Favor E. Alamoko and I am excited to bring in my congratulatory message to all nations on the occasion of her 70th anniversary. And we here at the Victory Church International, we are sending our warmest congratulations to all nations international on the occasion of her 70th anniversary. All Nations International has been one foremost missionary organization that has impacted our lives, has impacted my life as a person, has in fact impacted on my family and on, the ch and on our church. All Nations International has impacted in our village and with many projects, the water project in our village, uh, the training for ministers in the village and here at the church with the Isaiah 58 manuals and the Bibles, and then the projects for empowering people, baking project, agricultural project, and then the tailoring project. So many things that All Nations has done. And this is just an indication of the grace upon this missions organization, reaching out to different countries of the world of which Nigeria has been blessed by their invasion. Again, I'm Favor E. Alan Wonko, the lead pastor of Victory Church International. On behalf of myself, my family, and our church, we want to say happy 70th anniversary to one of the best missionary organizations I've ever known in my whole life. God bless keep you for many more years to come from all of us here. Bye-bye. Hello, good evening everyone. Ono Kisando is my name from Nigeria. By God's grace, I have been in the Bible study class organized by the All Nations under Reverend Gordon. I was introduced by my good friend, Fevor Alamoko, and I must say that I've been blessed through these three years of being in the class. It's more than just a Bible class. By God's grace, we have the opportunity to have the equivalent of what is obtainable in the theological school because we are taught the deeper meaning of Bible words from the original languages, Greek and Hebrew as the case may be. Also, I want to point out in celebration of the 70th anniversary, some topics that have been pivotal, have been very significant in my formation as a believer. One of them was the teachings, the Bible study on true riches. And an insight was given us on how to be rich towards God. The man who God said your soul is required of you tonight was not rich towards God. He was thinking about himself, said, my soul, relax and enjoy. The Bible said he was not rich towards God. Another lesson I've learned through the Bible classes is that for you to be a man of authority, you must be under authority. There is no way to exercise authority without being under authority ourselves. Another thing I've learned is that there is, there is no place where thanksgiving exists that there will be no faith. Wherever thanksgiving exists, there is faith. Always faith. Always. So thanksgiving creates an atmosphere of faith. So it's better I approach situations in thanksgiving than in complaint. Because with thanksgiving, faith will always be available. And the host of all other teachers. It has been a refreshing time. We've had the opportunity to interact. One of the beautiful things about this Bible study is that not only are we allowed to ask questions, we are allowed to contribute. So we learn from one another. We also learn from our teacher. And I'm very grateful. So I want to say God bless all nations and continue to prosper her continue to prosper the ministry as it advances the kingdom of God. Thank you everyone.
pray.